Hey guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 boom. Bam, bam, bam. Always hit my chin. Bam, 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 bow, 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 bam, bam, bam. Review stuff. And I am back for another video. And today, I have a surprise for you. I have an itchy nose. Today, I have a surprise for you. And no, it's not my itchy nose. Um, so, I was standing in the refrigerator <laughs> today, in the freezer. Do you ever just like, as an adult, as a grown adult, I was saying this in my other video, do you ever just like, hang on your freezer and you're like, Mom, there's nothing to eat. And then you realize that you're the adult and if there's nothing to eat in the refrigerator or the freezer, it's because of you. <laughs> because you didn't get any food at the grocery store. So, I was uh, standing in the refrigerator and the freezer and I was look at, looking at everything trying to figure out what I could review today. And I was like, there is literally nothing to review in this. I've reviewed every ice cream treat that I have. I have reviewed every drink that I have in my refrigerator. There is nothing to review that I haven't already reviewed. So I got online and I was like, okay, well, I'll just order something and have it delivered to the house and then I can, you know, do that. So I was looking through, I, I Google searched, um, new fast food items 2023 and it was like this chicken sandwich this Wagyu beef RB sandwich this thing it was like a lot of like uh, different kinds of milkshakes and drinks that would be fully melted by the time that they got here and I was like this is so depressing like I want I was so excited I was like I'm gonna have something delivered it'll be a really cute fun video and I was like there's nothing here and then I got to the very bottom and they had a new pretzel crust by Little Caesars Pizza. Now, I have not had Little Caesars Pizza since I was in about eighth grade. I don't think. I know somebody, I'll say that, and somebody will be like, uh, Peter, you reviewed Little Caesars Pizza a year ago, which I might have. I feel like I did review something by Little Caesars Pizza a couple years ago. I don't remember. But anyway, needless to say, I very rarely ever have Little Caesars Pizza. I, it's not my go-to pizza. It's not even in my top five or six go-to pizzas ever. But anyway, today I got on Little uh, Caesars Pizza. I got it very, very early this morning. And so it was like 10 o'clock and my neighbor was over here and he was talking to me and I was like going through and looking at um, all the fast food options and things like that. And so when I made my order, I had to place my order after they opened because they weren't even open yet. So anyway, I ordered um, the Little Caesars pizza. Now I ordered the pretzel crust, but I got a cheese pizza with pretzel crust, okay? So here it is. Caesar, Caesar, is it what they say? Pizza, pizza. <laughs> pizza, pizza. <laughs> okay, so here it is, and you can see, for all those people that say, the drivers get into your food, it has a sticker over it, okay? So it's sealed. I don't know how they got into it, but anyway. So I got that, and then I also got some this garlic, butter flavor, butter garlic flavor, which I do not believe I've ever tried from Little Caesars, because I love the garlic sauce from like Papa John's and uh, Pizza Hut and those kind of places. So I got that. Now, I have to tell you that my pizza and the uh, garlic flavor came to 1035, but it was not 1030, I can't, I don't know how am I gonna open this without, okay. It was not 1035 after delivery. It was a little bit more expensive than that. So let's open this pizza and see what we think. Now, I do love a good hot pretzel. Do you guys love hot pretzels? Oh my God, I love hot pretzels so much. I have to say though, right now, when I came out here, I looked at the clock and it was 12.03. I am not super hungry and I'm going to the pool this afternoon. So I don't want to eat and be like super full, but I'm going to save this so that I have something for dinner tonight. So my husband will be excited too because he loves cheese pizza and um, it has pretzels and he loves hot pretzels. So, are you effing kidding me? Are you effing kidding me? I am so, I am so over this, you guys, okay? I cannot believe this. I, hold on a second. Where are my reading glasses? Well, let me show you the pizza first of all. Here it is, okay? If this is the pretzel crust, if this looks like just regular crust to me. This is not the pretzel crust, right? Am I completely crazy? Am I wrong? Did I order this pizza? I mean, I went in specifically and ordered it on their online web portal and all that kind of stuff. Nope, it says right here. Cheese pretzel. Do you guys see that? Cheese pretzel. 
Well, I will be con contacting Little Caesars Pizza, and I will be getting me a free pizza because they <laughs> did not give me the right pizza, okay? But since I've already started this and I already ordered it, let's just review a plain cheese pizza by Little Caesars. This kind of, well, what's interesting to me is that it has this salt all over it. I don't know if you can see this, but it has like, on the top of here, it has this salt that kind of like looks like this pretzel thing. Is this, is this in fact like the pretzel pizza crust from Caesars? And it just, to me, looks like a plain, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is what the, the crust looks like. This is not what it looked like in the picture. I should have brought the picture and shown it up here, but I can tell you right now, this is not, I mean, here, I'll tell you what I'll do, okay? I'm gonna hold this up right here. Where will I put the picture? Probably over here. I'm gonna put the pic this up here. I'm gonna put a picture of the pretzel crust above it. This is not what the pretzel crust looked like in the picture. It li literally looked like a, uh, what do you call it? A, a, a hot pretzel that you get at the mall, you know, with the cheese and stuff like that. But we'll try this anyway, because I have a feeling that maybe this is the pretzel crust. And I'm just, it doesn't smell like a pretzel. Here, let's, here, I'm gonna, before I eat the rest of this pizza, I'm just gonna try a little bit of the crust and see if it tastes anything like a hot pretzel. It tastes like a doughy crust with the salt from a hot pretzel on it. It doesn't taste anything like a hot pretzel at all. When you look at the picture, it literally looks like the edge of it is a hot pretzel. Yeah, this doesn't taste like a hot pretzel at all. It looks and tastes just exactly like regular crustal crust. This is a complete fail. The only thing is that it has the salt on it. Here, I'll show you. It has like the, can you see it has the big salt on there from like a pretzel? That's the only thing that tastes at all like it being a pretzel. This is a complete fail. I am so disappointed in this. I'm really upset. I was so excited about this. I thought this would be such a fun review. Why are all these reviews that I'm doing complete fails? First Del Taco and now this. I mean, to open this and think, oh wow, like it's not a, a pretzel. I mean, to look at it and be confused on whether or not it's a pretzel crust means it is a complete fail, right? Okay, here, I'm gonna just try the pizza with the garlic sauce and I'll let you guys know what I think of the pizza. Well, first of all, that garlic butter sauce is some of the worst garlic butter sauce I've ever had. It is like straight up just like, uh -uh. It's not very garlicky, garlicky. Oh man, mm -mm. And it literally, here it is. It literally tastes like they just took like a thing of margarine, a stick of margarine and like put it in the, this is bad. This whole thing is bad. I'm like really not happy about this. And they just like put it in the microwave. Here, let me try the pizza. The cheese tastes like American cheese that you would just like melt on top of nachos. This is not, I can't even, I don't want to eat this. My husband might eat it. This is bad. This is some of the worst pizza I've ever had in my entire life. This is horrible, you guys. I'd rather have Totino's for a dollar pizza. This is horrible. This is a complete fail. I'm really disappointed. I was really excited about this, too. I thought this was going to be really, really good. This is not good at all. No. Well, my husband loves cheese pizza, so he'll probably eat some of it, but... The crust is a fail. The pizza is a fail. It's all a fail. I'm very disappointed. Uh-uh. I'm not even giving that a 1 out of 10. That is, a, that is, that's not even good for effort. That's a 0 out of 10. Very disappointed. I will, I, mm. Unless Little Caesars comes out with something that's so exciting that I want to review again, that would be the last time I ever get Little Caesars. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. 
Complete fail. Complete fail. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.